Are you kidding me right now? Why didn't I do this sooner? So I had planned a video for this week, which sadly I've not been able to complete. The reason for that is that I've been having some problems with my 3D printers, specifically bed adhesion. Now, I've been messing around with 3D printing for a number of years now, and one of the elusive things that I've not really been able to nail down perfectly is bed adhesion. Bed adhesion is where the plastic you lay down for the very first layer sticks to the bed perfectly, laying down a nice buttery smooth first layer. This first layer is critical in being able to have a successful print because if this first layer fails, 98% of the way through the print, then the overall print fails. So it's pretty key that you get this first layer right and it stays stuck to the bed throughout the print. I've had intermittent issues with bed adhesion with all types of materials from PLA, ABS and PETG, which have been the main materials that I've used over the years. So I've been a bit of a purist over the years trying to deal with bed adhesion issues by adjusting the variables that are commonly said to be the cause of poor adhesion. Typically a clean bed, a level bed, and the distance between the nozzle and the bed being set correctly. I've been through a number of leveling routines. I've also installed BL Touch bed leveling sensors so that the printer can automatically adjust and create a mesh for these inconsistencies in the bed level. But I've never really been able to tune the issue out completely. I've never really been a major fan of applying a coating to the bed. If the coating is not applied consistently, it can leave some weird artifacts in the bottom side of the print that's actually mating with the surface of the bed. I have applied ABS slurry in the past and that's worked well, but the visual defects that arise as a result of an inconsistent slurry layer put me off applying it on a consistent basis. That was until this week. With the issues that I was dealing this week, I got extremely frustrated and I threw in the towel. I decided to do some research to try and find a bed coating that I could apply just to get the video done. I looked at all sorts of options from magnetic beds, PI surfaces, blue painters tape and other solutions. I wanted to get the video out quickly, but yeah didn't kind of work out that way. So I did a quick Amazon search and come across Magigoo. Looking at the price of Magigoo, it's about the price of a cheap roll of filament. So I decided, what the hell, I'll just give it a go. I ordered it from Amazon and it came the next day. On opening the box, it comes in a glue stick type dispenser with a sponge top, which you saturate and apply the liquid to the bed. The instructions are relatively simple, but before I attempted to coat the beds, I decided to give the three beds of my printers a wash and a dry. Once that was done, I cleaned it with some isopropanol alcohol just to remove any residual oils from handling them. The first thing you need to do with Magigoo is give it a decent shake just to make sure the ingredients haven't settled out and it's blended right the way through. And it's as simple as just spreading the material across the bed in an even coating. This was relatively easy easy on the CR10 V2 beds, which are a dark color, and you could quite easily see the liquid reflecting on the surface of the bed. However, when it came to the CR10 V1 glass bed, it was a little bit more difficult. And I had to kind of move around a little bit to see the reflection. Ensuring a good even coat I think is quite important because if you have an area of the bed that's not coated and you're printing on that, the print could lift in that area. Once I was happy I had the coating evenly applied on the bed, I then placed the beds back onto the printer and waited for them to dry. The difference in printer was night and day on the CR10 V1. It just works straight out of the gate and you don't realize how much of a relief that actually was to know that it was just working. The CR10 V2, however, needed a little bit of a tweak. It would seem that my lead leveling needed adjustment and the nozzle offset needed to be revisited. But once that was done, just work flawlessly. I will say this is a quality of life improvement. If you're not having bed adhesion issues, then carry on working as you are. If you are experiencing issues with bed adhesion, why not give Magigoo a try? It's about the cost of a cheap reel of filament, and there are many applications in the bottle. 
The CR10 is a 300 by 300 bed area. I would think I've got about 10 to 20 applications per machine, which I've got three of them, per pot. At this point in time, I can't recommend Magigoo enough. I'm not sponsored by Magigoo. Magigoo have no idea I'm making this video, but I will say this has made a massive difference to how I'm gonna go about printing. If you're interested in trying Magigoo out, why not click the link down in the description? If this video gave you some value, why not click the subscribe button and check out one of the videos just here.